Hi, this is Raya with your weekly weather roundup for June 16th to the 22nd. Rare twin tornadoes tore through the small town of Pilger, Nebraska on Monday, causing at least two fatalities and destroying 75% of the town, including the entire business district. The deaths were the first tornado-related fatalities for Nebraska in 10 years. Spawned by the same isolated supercell, the twins were separated by two or three miles. The storm was massive enough to form a rare two centers of rotation, each creating its own tornado. The two tornadoes were part of an outbreak that included at least 19 total tornadoes across Nebraska and Iowa. Flooding persists for areas of South Dakota and Iowa. Canton, South Dakota reported 8.43 inches of rainfall in just 24 hours, ending Tuesday morning, just shy of the state record. This month has been the wettest on record for Sioux City, Iowa, with recent rains pushing the city over 13 inches. Sioux Falls, South Dakota is also record-breaking with over 13 inches as well. Blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah, you can blame it on the rain. Heavy rain and flooding also affected Minnesota, causing a mudslide along the Mississippi River in Minneapolis. Twin Cities Airport set a June single-day record rainfall of 4.13 inches, breaking its old record set back in 1877. Do you hear that? It sounds like more precipitation. The Northern Rockies received a heap of snow with upper elevations in Wyoming receiving up to nine inches this week. Also seven inches in Teton County and six in Lincoln County. Low elevations were not left out. Evanston received 3.5 inches of snow as well. Del Rio, Texas also received, you guessed it, rain. A record 4.26 inches fell on Friday making it the second wettest June day on record. 161 daily records were set this week across the U.S. with 84 high temperature records and 77 low temperature records.